John Cookson caught up with him in London. Like every other nation, we're not going to fulfill it overnight. What we want to do is to reverse the present trend and show that we're on path to growth, we're on path to doing the right things, build the sense of hope that will help us to mobilize the resources to continue trading on that path. No government have enough. No government have fulfilled everything overnight. People are not expecting in Nigeria 100% result. They want 100% effort. And that we're in the right direction. And with that hope, we'll start mobilizing resources to continue trading on the right path. Now, there are millions of more voters this time than, than before. I, I think you mentioned 12 million more voters. How, just said, how, how can you be sure that these young people who traditionally don't vote actually go to the polling booth and vote? And vote, 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 vote because of what they're going through. You know, they, they left out there without any means of livelihood, without knowing where the next meal will come from, without any jobs. So for them, it's critical. But I, they, they, most of them are running for presidency through me. And my promise is that I will not let them down. We must build in Nigeria where they will be proud to see their Nigerians. And that's what I want to do. You're going to need the young people to, to be president, but you're also going to need the backing of the Muslim population, which traditionally uh, votes for uh, the, the president. Are you confident that you've got their vote? Uh, well, as a devout Catholic. No, let me tell you, there's no religion in Nigeria that is not suffering. There's nobody that buys bread cheaper. Everybody's going through the same problem. The Muslims don't have unintended electricity. They don't have good roads, they don't have good schools. The, when universities is closed down, the Muslims, the Christians, everybody, the same thing. So religion is not an issue. It's an endless conspiracy to continue to be in power. That is not the issue today. The issue today is how do we mobilize the young people, Muslims, Christians, everybody alike, to ensure that we have good governance. A governance that cares for everybody, Muslim and Christians alike. And that's what we're going to do. Now, when you become president, what's your foreign policy as far as the UK is concerned? Will there be more trade between the two countries? We'll maintain the same relationship as it is today. And enhance it. Enhance it. But that will be first. We need to deal with domestic issues. Because your foreign policy is a more robust when you have domestic stability, which is what we're going to do first, and be able to build an economy that is more robust domestically, and then be able to export more, build more relationship. You, the UK being our traditional partners, of course, we've had a long relationship, and um, it will remain the same. What's your number, what's your number one priority? Uh, you know, what do you want to achieve within the 100 days? Well. It's not about what I'm going to achieve in 100 days. It's about bringing government that people can trust. Of course, we're going to focus on fighting and ensuring that we secure the country, dealing with issues of rule of law, bringing civility and order in the system. A major speech, of course, delivered by Peter B. at Chatham House. How did he come across? The, the room was full of obedience, uh, Charles, so you can imagine that he was uh, playing to a, a happy house. Uh, I mean, they applauded his every applause line, uh, so that has to be taken into account. There was a sprinkling of uh, journalists, including myself. But look, I mean, it was such a difference, such a contrast uh, to the Tinubu uh, uh, press conference uh, appearance at Chatham House uh, back in, in December. Uh, I mean, th this guy, uh, first of all, he stood up for the whole of his um, speech. He, he didn't stick to the script. Uh, he was witty. He was charming. He comes across as being very intelligent. And, you know, some of the things that he's promising uh, for the Nigerian people are, are fantastic.